With respect to religion, um, I, my own thought is that it would be great if we will surpass this notion that there has to be a conflict between science and religion. And it will be great uh, if people that I will characterize as many others would, as fundamentalists will do a little more thinking about the implications of the uh, fundamentalists when they, tra- when they try to introduce religion as science. That's not good for science and it's not good for religion uh, for reasons, again, that I intimated in my brief comments. Um, it will be nice if the dialogue between science and religion will move forward and people who feel antagonistic on both sides will make an effort to see the other side. I, by the way, I have no hope whatsoever with my scientist friends who are uh, atheists and make assertions totally unwarranted on scientific grounds that, that, uh, that they, uh, the God does not exist because scientific knowledge shows that God does not exist. Scientific knowledge cannot show any such thing. They are tremendously inconsistent because they will negate the arguments that go along the lines that uh, science demonstrates the existence of God, which is what the proponents of intelligent design and argue in our declaration. Science cannot uh, demonstrate the existence of God. Science, for the same reasons, cannot demonstrate the non-existence of God. This is just a transgression of boundaries, which is very unfortunate. Uh, These very successful scientists and philosophers that I know, I'm talking about a few of them, um, are not going to change their mind. So I don't think that uh, there's going to be religious progress along those lines. I'm thinking more, however, of the public at large, particularly the, all the people of good faith that are religious and yet remain persuaded that there is contradiction between science and religion. Um, would be great if we would uh, avoid that conflict in the future, and that will be very beneficial to everybody.